great pleasure to welcome you all here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. And like DK, I'm going to take the shorthand way out and just say all protocols observed. Everybody who's with us this evening is very welcome. It's my honour and privilege to introduce Kiran Devan, who's coming on to speak to us next. But before I do so, I just want to say a, a two or three quick things. Um, first of all, the reason why Kiran is with us this evening, and also Sir Vernon Ellis, our chair, is because they're both here on week-long programmes to see the British Council's work in action across Nigeria. The way we interface with different communities, government, civil society groups, artists, entrepreneurs, scholars, educators. We interact with a whole range of people and that's what they've come to see this week. And I think it's an indication of how important the British Council thinks Nigeria is. I just want to say my thanks as well as the Chief Executive of the British Council. Um, the reason we're here uh, with my delegation and the delegation uh, led by uh, Sir Vernon Ellis is because of that partnership. We're looking at some of the brilliant, brilliant partnerships we have with um, friends in uh, Nigeria. Um, we've just come up from uh, Lagos and where we caught the last day of the uh, Lagos Theatre Festival. Uh, we had fantastic conversations today with um, ministers uh, and then we went on to talk uh, to the education sector uh, because it's by all of us working together and learning from each other and sharing ideas that between us we will make the world a, a better place. So thank you, it is a, a joy to be here. Thank you very much. this country. I really love this country. A country with pleasures unending, love unending, and love to the fullest. I love this country. Just a little girl, somewhere about the age of eight. She said, I know you think I'm young, but I don't believe in fairy tales like Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella. Though I really think that Snow White was fair, she said, We don't do Halloween. This is the first time ever in the British Council globally that our chief executive has taken such a high level delegation to any country and he's chosen to bring them here. So for us it's a real affirmation of our work, it's an affirmation that our Nigerian partners do incredible things working with us, but I think more than that, that Nigeria is an important partner for the UK going forward. We're here in Nigeria to look at the collaborations that we as the British Council have in Nigeria, whether it's in the cultural sector, the education sector, looking at stability and security, uh, looking at higher education. We're, we're looking at all of those to try and learn and to share experiences. I've had the opportunity of uh, meeting with the country director of the British Council uh, about two months ago. And at that meeting, we both agreed on the necessity to grow uh, the local creative industry. Who do you find normal? Who says this time? Let's be normal. Tell me, Lola what is normal behavior? Well, um, behavior that conforms with um, acceptable standards, you know? Who says this standard? I think 
the, the single biggest challenge we, we have, so British Council and our Nigerian partners, is to change the perception in the UK about Nigeria. There are negative perceptions of Nigerians and uh, Nigeria in the UK, and one of the reasons why I accepted the, the offer of the British Council to come here, because I wanted, actually these perceptions go both ways. If you want to address, if you want to, we, we want to create a positive relationship with Nigeria, then we have to address both perceptions. Oh, she said, don't you try to What's new, I think, going forward is we need to think through what works for the uh, modern young Nigerian who is in some ways uh, some of the most digitally enabled young people uh, on the planet. Promote young people, give them an opportunity to represent what Nigeria could be and what it should be and I think Nigeria could really fly. This is about growing, it's about more partners and it's about ultimately Nigeria really showing you know its face out there in the world and that the UK is the friend that helped them do it. That's that's what we're here to do.